question round for you all. So to add, so please um, wait to the very end to uh, this week's mix, and you'll all have to do the exit course uh, there, not to any other of the gymnasium exit course when you leave, please. Thank you. Uh, we're going to start off with the song, I Let Her Go, and we were really happy this year to have some student teachers with us. Um, we're going to start with I Let Her Go, and it's back to the that one for you.
Temple, and high school junior singers are going to sing a, a song called Times Are Changing. And this is um, interesting because it talks about um, as times change and um, the, the old is replaced by the new. So it's really interesting how we have our current every high school uh, choir students here and hopefully looking at the future of our every high school choir students in front of them. So um, something they'll be passing the torch at the high school and um, I think we have great futures ahead of us.
collection is called Air on the Song. This is text, um, it's a poem by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, and we talked about the meaning of this poem. Um, we really like it, it's, it's a song about how things that we say or things that we do have an impact on others that we may not know until the future. We may never know um, how the things we say are do, are do can positively or possibly negatively impact the people around us. So we hope you love this song and on the song.
As we close, our last song is called Everlasting Melody. March is Music in Our Schools Month, and we're so glad that you can be here to celebrate Music in Our Schools Month. We thank you, community members and parents, for your support and helping us education in our schools. Um, there is a, a lot of there are a lot of resources one can learn about Music in Our Schools Month. I posted them on your students on the students Google Classroom, um, or uh, if you'd like to get some more information on Music in Our Schools Month, send me an email, and I'll be happy to share those things with you. Um, without your support, parents, fans, family, uh, neighbors. We um, wouldn't have an audience, and there is not much, much more things to do that are fun and music than performing an audience, especially for these students. So we thank you for being such a wonderful audience. Um, some of the most important things to me, especially at this level of music education, is to help these students foster a love for music and an understanding and appreciation for music that will go with them for a lifetime, um, whether they pursue a career in music or continue to perform in any kind of ensembles or um, perform music in front of an audience. The main goal is that they they leave Hermitage School District with an appreciation and understanding and a love for music. Along the way, they establish friendships that I believe often last a lifetime and memories that will last a lifetime. Um, but most of all, I hope they leave here with a love of music. And I hope the melodies that we sing here in Hickory High School, Delhani and Ayanta, these are melodies that will um, fill their heart with joy and they can continue to think of these melodies and sing them as they continue in their life after they leave Delhani and Ayanta, after they leave in Hickory High School. So thank you for being here for our Music in Our Schools Month concert and we hope you like our final piece, Everlasting Melody.